cantorial soloist Todd Herzog, Rabbi Debbie Steele. Uh, I am grateful to be able to take some deep breaths with you and our congregation in this moment. The photograph accompanying this video was taken in the wee hours of Thursday morning within hours of an assault on the United States Capitol by domestic terrorists. The House and Senate within hours went about the business of our country, certifying Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as the next president and vice president of the United States. In the face of an unprecedented threat from within our country, law enforcement protected our lawmakers, allowing them to boldly return to their chambers and finish the work of the people of the United States. I'd like to share the closing prayer of last night's session offered by Barry Black, Senate chaplain, an African-American pastor and Navy veteran who prayed, Lord of our lives and sovereign of our divine nation, we deplore the desecration of the United States Capitol building the shedding of innocent blood, the loss of life, and the quagmire of dysfunction that threatens our democracy. These tragedies have reminded us that words matter and that the power of life and death is in the tongue. We have been warned that eternal vigilance continues to be freedom's price. Lord, you have helped us remember that we need to see in each other a common humanity that reflects your image. You have strengthened our resolve to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, domestic and foreign. Use us to bring healing and unity to our hurting and divided nation and world. Incline our hearts to do your will and guide our feet to the path of peace. Amen. Seeing the Capitol breached yesterday brought such heaviness to my heart as I know it did to so many people. And it left me feeling that there's a lot of work that our country needs to do, uh, not a surprise there. But it also left me thinking about that in the moment, what I wanted to do was to ask God to help our country. And so I'd like to offer, in addition to that prayer that Rabbi Linder just offered, a prayer from our own prayer book, a prayer for our nation. O oh, guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. May we never be lazy in the work for peace, May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife and may our country be sound in body and spirit. Amen. 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 And uh, in the spirit of hope and optimism in the face of all of this, as well as observing the art site of Debbie Friedman, who was an amazing composer, uh, wanted to just offer this 
sow in tears, reap in joy, which is taken from Psalm 126. Those who sow, who sow in tears, will reap in joy, will reap in joy. Those who sow, who sow in tears, will reap, will reap in joy. Those who sow, who sow in will reap in joy, will reap in joy. Those who sow, who sow in tears, will reap, will reap in joy. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom.